features of the old-time wedding included gentlemen dressed in black three-piece suits with coat tails and white shirts, black top hats, bow ties, and white gloves, while women dressed in 18th and 19th century castle dresses, wide-brimmed hats, decorated with flowers, fascinators, and white gloves, a staple on the annual Tobago Heritage Calendar. TV6 News caught up with Assistant Secretary in the Division of Culture, Niall George. I'm very elated to see the turnout despite the impending weather. I mean, Mariah Heritage is a staple in the heritage calendar and it has always been one of the most important parts of the festival. Um, as you see, it's how our wedding was in the good old days, as they say, and the traditions are rich and alive and it is for us to keep that part of it, retain that part of our heritage, retain that part of our culture so that it may live on for generations to come. Even the scores of tourists gathered admired the spectacle, some seeing it for the very first time. Yes, first ever, yeah. We've been here for two weeks, so we've been going to some other events as well, but really enjoying it so far. How would you describe it? Fun. Very <laughs> fun. <laughs> Very lively, everyone's in good spirits, having a really great time. Yeah, it's been great fun. I love seeing everybody in the in all the dresses and the, the suits. It's been brilliant. Make sure you take lots of pictures to go back. Home. Absolutely, yeah. Send to my mum. Tell us how you feel. Yeah, good food, good music, can't complain. It's been great, yeah. Scores of persons enjoyed the celebrations, inclusive of the young people, much to the delight of Assistant Secretary George, who stated the future of the festival is in good hands. What do you want to tell other young people? Because I'm seeing a lot of young people participating. Yes, and, and that's very important. I, I hope that others emulate the Mariah Heritage Festival in, in getting the young ones involved because in some heritage productions you are seeing the same older ones and it's, it's going to be very difficult to keep that tradition alive if younger persons aren't getting involved. To the males especially, I'm saying don't, don't listen to the stereotyping. Get involved, be part of it, make sure our heritage lives on. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.